Dear Sarah, and uh, like the rest of you, I think we've already had a lesson in technology this morning. So, Croiso, welcome to everybody, uh, and thank you for joining us. We are anticipating nearly 200 people joining in today at some stage. So, uh, it's usual to leave the thanking of the conference organisers to the end, but I'm not going to be here all day. So I do need to put on record my grateful thanks to everybody involved in uh, helping to plan the event, uh, making all the logistics work, and for all those uh, um, offering up their time to present and facilitate workshops, we really are grateful. This it really does feel like a, a very well co-produced session. And as Sarah mentioned, I've got a varied career. And one of my early uh, remembrances after that video was um, taking my own daughter to the local play school, uh, which she thoroughly enjoyed. And she then went on to a nursery school. Uh, later on, I then worked with Wales PPA. Uh, that would be familiar to many of you in the room. I thoroughly enjoyed my time there working with the National Advisor, Wendy Hawkins, who I'm still in touch with. So, you know, it, it's a, a strong part of my background. I've recently become a grandmother, so my daughter's on maternity leave, but I know she's already thinking about uh, where is her daughter going to go in terms of uh, local nursery and play school provision? So uh, I have a, a real affinity to the early years and childcare sector. Uh, and I think that the incredible work that you do to give children a really good start in life is absolutely critical. So uh, I'm really glad to be here with you today and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this conference, a wide variety of activities to, to get involved in. Uh, and as we put on the Mentimeter, you know, networking, learning, getting together and, and sharing ideas, uh, thinking about what we're doing well now and, and where can we progress. But really a time to celebrate your commitment, your dedication, your high skill and how valuable you are to our society to give children the very best start in, in life. And I think, you know, it is worth me commenting on the resilience and perseverance that you've all shown during the COVID pandemic. Uh, you know, it, it's been uh, an episode in our lives that we never would have imagined. So, you know, well done for hanging on in there, for really continuing to give your very best to make sure our children are well supported. And we are working with Welsh Government and colleagues in the sector to see, you know, what else could Social Care Wales do to support the sector in terms of ensuring its sustainability for the longer term uh, and making sure you're there when we need you as our children grow and develop and as more children are born. So uh, it was great yesterday on St David's Day to see the, the Welsh Government's 10-year childcare and play strategy being launched. Uh, again, some really useful information there uh, showing that uh, direction of travel for Wales, where you know ministers in Wales really want Wales to be the best place in the world for children to thrive, develop and be happy. You know, it is fundamental. Uh, to becoming a, a, a good adult, you need a good childhood. So, you know, the, the extra support, the direction, the care, the welfare needs, uh, as well as preparing children for school uh, and adulthood, you know, the foundations in these early years are absolutely critical. And, and you know that uh, as well as anybody else. So from our perspective in Social Care Wales, you are highly valued. You know, we see you as key workers, fundamental to having uh, an effective society where parents can learn or earn, go out to work. Uh, so providing that real bedrock of foundation for people to have a great start in life, really helping children to uh, think about their developmental needs and parents knowing that children are in safe hands while they're out learning or earning. So we see you as a key worker. Uh, the, the other element to emphasise is, you know, you are a fundamental part of the Welsh economy. So providing local jobs for local people right across Wales. And, and that's another theme that the Welsh Government uh, wants to emphasise in terms of its support for the early years and childcare sector. So it's not only the brilliant work you're doing supporting and nurturing children, 
it's your value to parents and families, but it's also your value to wider society as part of a, a fundamental arm of the economy right across Wales. So, you know, you really are well regarded. Uh, I can't say it loud enough. I want to say it really loudly. I want you to know how appreciated you are. Uh, and having experienced it myself, both as a, uh, a client or a customer, but also working in the system, I, I know what a fantastic network of providers and professionals we have in Wales. And, uh, you know, long may that continue. So part of you being a key worker does mean hopefully you've enjoyed some of the benefits of the Social Care Wales uh, ID card, where we've tried to ensure uh, benefits uh, were enabled to be reached by yourselves during the, the pandemic. And, and we're constantly looking at ways of other things that we can do to enhance that um, benefit. But hopefully uh, we will work with other companies over, over the years to see what else we can bring to, to make a benefit for you. The challenges of the pan pandemic should not be underestimated, you know, whether that's thinking about the children themselves, families, the workforce and businesses. And, and we know that some businesses had a real difficult time remaining open. Some had to temporarily close. Uh, you know, government support was there, but it, it's been a very challenging time. So hopefully with the additional hours now of free childcare, maybe uh, there will be some uh, improvements in terms of sustainability. So uh, the other thing that we're doing in Social Care Wales, just to remind you, is the We Care Wales campaign. So that's our campaign to help the sector to attract, recruit and retain the workforce and find more care workers. And particularly for those areas where there are gaps, Welsh language skills is one of those areas. Also male care workers, uh, you know, it, it would be useful for uh, children to have both male and female care support. It gives the right rounded uh, experience, I think, for many young children. So lots to uh, celebrate today, uh, lots to share with each other today. Um, I'm impressed so far with the, the use of the technology, the three languages, uh, you know, th this is fantastic. And as Sarah said, you know, we are a learning organisation. We are prepared to take risks, try things that are new, try things that we're not absolutely comfortable with. Uh, and if it doesn't go right, we know you will forgive us. But uh, I have every confidence it will go right uh, and that uh, all the speakers will be very thought provoking and, and you'll get a lot out of the workshops, I'm sure. So without further ado, uh, I'm pleased to be able to uh, listen in for the uh, Deputy Minister, Julie Morgan. I think she will be following me, but just to uh, wish you a really enjoyable day. Thank you for all of your commitment and your efforts. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, hearing what the Deputy Minister has to say. So thank you, Sarah. Diochenbauer. <laughs> 